Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will back to the Lumen and we will speak about the material ID. You know material ID, you find it in Vray, you find it in Corona and other else rendering program, but how you can get it from the Lumen? Uh, you know, the material ID is so powerful images uh, to help you um, in post-production your final rendering. So, let's get started. Now we are in Lumen and let's render it. I'm using just uh, the default sam from the Lumen, nothing much, nothing special. Uh, so we will go to the video mode, movie mode, not f not to photo mode. We will use the movie mode. Uh, now we just record and put your camera with whenever you want. Uh, I will leave my camera like this. Maybe I will rotate it like this. Uh, okay, seems okay, and like this. Okay, I will leave like that and take it photo. Okay, let's go back. Now we will add some effects uh, like sun. Maybe we will change a bit direction of our sun. Let's create something like that. Uh, after that, I will add some shadows uh, and interior. Okay, I will leave like that. Uh, a bit reflection. Let's add some reflection here okay this and last thing skylight hi done I think uh, it's pretty pretty much done so we get our image and now we want to render it so we will render by uh, this button render clip just click on that and current shot and as you see we get here additional maps additional output we can save a depth map, normal map, uh, and other else. Uh, I already did it, I already rendered it, and here this my maps, as you see. And we can use now it in Photoshop. So, let's do it. First, uh, I will go to the Photoshop, uh, here the, my uh, diffuse map, and let's add some depth map. Here my depth map, let's put it here. I will use uh, Ctrl I to inverse it. Uh, I will go to the channel. I will use only blue channel. Right click, duplicate. Let's call it Alpha. Alpha channel. Okay, and let's switch off. Now click on the, the diffuse map. Let's go to the filter, blur, lens blur, and now we will use the Alpha. And as you see, the backside now it's a bit blur. So this is nice effect like a zoom camera. So let's leave it like that. Uh, let's add other other maps. Uh, for example, the lighting. Here the I will lighting, and let's use this soft soft light. And you see before, after, before, after, and let's make the twenty opacity twenty percent. And now it's more better. And last, what I want to put here, this is a specular map. Let's use it in Photoshop. I will use the screen mode for that one. And as you see, before and after. This is nice, nice effect, nice uh, from the metal. It's like a metal effect. So this is already um, more about the production, but... Uh, if you go back to the Lumen, uh, you know now how you can get the, these maps. Of course, you can get from the image sequences, you can uh, choose uh, from which uh, frame range you want uh, this, uh, these maps. Uh, this is pretty easy to get it and I think it was helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.